Hey guys, Linda here. Welcome back to Adora. Finally back with another video for you. Doing my August and September wrap up. Yeah, I know I, I completely missed September doing any videos. Sorry about that. But I have been reading a lot of books. And uh, I got a, quite a few books I want to go through. I'm not going to give a long synopsis on the, any of these. Because, you know, I'm not good at wrapping up books. <laughs> but unfortunately, none of these were from my TBR. Yeah, I still have not read anything off that TBR. I haven't even finished the two books that I started on the TBR. I fell down the rabbit hole of other books. <laughs> I was looking at Instagram and... This advertising pop-up, it said steamy historical romance read. When it says steamy historical, I was like, oh, I'm all in. So that's how I found this first author. All of these are new authors to me. Um, that's how I found this first, uh, first author. And her name is Scarlett Scott. She writes historicals. And yeah, I just fell down a rabbit hole reading her books. <laughs> I read quite a few of them. First up I have is Sweet Scandal. Here's the uh, book cover here. And this is a series. It's uh, book number four. I read them out of order. I think I mentioned on here, don't bother me to read books out of order. And you can read these out of order because they're on different couples, different scenarios. But the couples from the other book usually show up in the book. So if you want to know who the couples are, you might want to start at book one in the series. But I didn't. And I don't know what book one is. I don't even think I read book one. <laughs> yeah, I was all over the place. Uh, but I enjoyed this one. I gave this uh, four stars, I think. Yeah, I gave this four stars. And this was on Helen and Levi. Levi is an American. He's come over to, uh, and all of these are set in England. He come over to England to uh, expand his business. He's a businessman. He uh, grew up off the streets. Uh, he was in the Civil War. And now he is into electricity. He's uh, trying to supply all the houses with light or whatever. And he's in competition with was it Edison? But I cause uh I think they mentioned Edison in here about how he um I think Edison is suing him saying that he ripped off some of their patterns or something like that. But that what Levi does and Helen, she is like a um spinster. I think she's 30 years old and she has no plan to get married. She just wanted to do her uh women's rights stuff because she's like a philanthropist. Uh, she like helping uh, just women who need help or, you know, can't find a job or who come to London uh, trying to make it and end up in the brothel. So she just trying to do that kind of work because she in, she was writing for this newspaper. That's how she meet Levi because he's bought the newspaper that she write for. And she's on like the freelance work and she was coming there to drop off her uh, next uh, article. And that's when she found out that the guy who owned the business done sold it because he didn't tell her. And like I said, she don't do it all the time. Uh, I think she like did it a couple, every month or once a month. She would write an article on women's rights and stuff like that. But then she come to the, to the um, newspaper and that's how she meet Levi. And yeah, their first meeting didn't go too well because uh, <laughs> Levi is very rude uh, because he's trying to get his uh, the business up and running. The newspaper up and running because he's trying to do a business newspaper because he wants to advertise his own business in the new paper because that's why he bought it so he can you know hype his own business up in the in the uh business newspaper and the bit uh, like i said it's all di in disorder because they're trying to uh fix the building up and she's all in the way so he ends up throwing her out <laughs> on the street <laughs> and slamming the door on her but they meet again because he's friend with uh, another american from another book that i read uh, and they're going to meet again at um, the other guy's house. But I, uh, his, the other guy, American name is Jess Whitley, Whitney. And I also read that book too. And I think that was book number, what book was that? I can't remember. Where are you at, Jess? Uh, Jess Whitley. That was book number two in the Heart's Temptation. So he's friend with Jess. So that's how he's going to meet Helen again at um, Jess's house because Helen is staying with Jess and his wife and that's book number two in the heart center and I did read that too but I'm just start I'm just going in order how they are in my Kindle all of these books are on Kindle so I'm just going in how how what order they in on the Kindle so I read that I enjoyed it I gave it four stars if you want a steamy it wasn't over the top uh, with steaminess but it was steamy and if you don't like that in your romance, it's not for you. But if you don't mind a little steaminess, check out Scarlett Scott. 
I can't hardly pronounce the name with them S's. is Scarlett Scott uh, Historicals. I really enjoyed it. And next, uh, I read uh, The Duke and the Wallflower. This is book number one in the Unwanted Duke series. Uh, this was on Eliza Derby and Dax Kane. He's a Duke. And it's called The Wallflower because um, Eliza is not considered very pretty or whatever. And she don't think she's ever going to get married because she's been on she's been out in season she's been you know how they have their season a debutantes or whatever and no one's asked her for her hand in marriage and she got three other sisters i think um uh, and three of them are not married and i think maybe she yeah she got three other sisters and the other two are not married just like her so her older sister come back because her and her husband are having problems. So she come back and says she's going to help her sister find a husband. And she introduces Eliza to uh, Dax. Because Dax, um, he got jilted before. And he don't want to fall in love. So he said he's going to look for a woman that's not attractive. And he chooses uh, Eliza. And I enjoyed the story. I gave this three and a half stars. It wasn't nothing I want to read again. Like I will read... Um, I'm going to buy Sweet Scandal. I really, really enjoyed that. But uh, usually if I'm not, you know, really taking on a book or not going to buy it, I usually give it the book of three and a half stars. It don't mean I didn't like it. I did enjoy the story. It's just nothing I want to go back and read again. Um, but I did enjoy, I liked Eliza because even though she, she, knew her, she knew her shortcomings or whatever, and the Duke, Fell in love with her anyway because he liked her personality. She was easy to talk to and she just was a nice person. And she found out why he married her. Uh, yeah, she was very upset with that. And she <laughs> he tried to talk to her, but she didn't want to talk to her. But I like that finally when she realized, you know, she didn't hold a grudge. You know, sometimes in these stories, the female hold a grudge or it somebody be holding a grudge forever and you don't get can't get over the story because they having this conflict. I like that Eliza talked out, talked with him about her feelings. She didn't hold nothing back. She, she, they discussed the feeling and they got over it. Yeah, come on, can we all just do that? <laughs> can we just sit down and discuss the situation and move on? So that's what you, that's what I liked about Eliza. She didn't hold it against him of what he did because he, you know, he apologized and explained what what was his reason and stuff like that, and that he didn't think she, you know, he thought she was a nice looking woman, and. They just discussed it and they moved on. Yeah, can we move on? <laughs> so I enjoyed that. I and um, Eliza was my favorite character in there. I really enjoyed her um, because she knew what she wanted because she wanted to get married and have kids. And she was also a writer. She was uh, making a kids book because she wanted to give these kids. She wanted to have these books for her kids. And that's not, I was hoping that she would publish these books, but she said she wanted to. Um, she was doing the books for when she have kids and stuff like that. But I enjoyed it. I gave it three and a half stars. If you want to check it out, that's the Duke and the Wallflower, the Duke and the Wallflower, book number one in the Unwanted uh, Dukes uh, series. And I like to write it, but I didn't like it enough to continue with the series, so I probably won't be continuing with that series. And here's book two. Um, like I mentioned, his name is Jess uh, in the other book, uh, who Helen was staying with. This is on, here's the book right here, and it's called Rebel Love, and this is book two in the Hearts Temptation series, and this was on Belle, Verney, Ver and Jess Whitney, and he is from America, like I mentioned before, he's from America also, and he came to America, he's doing business with her brother, so they kind of do business together, and... She knew him when she was younger, and that's how she met him through her brother when she was younger, and she always had a crush on him. So when she get older, they're going to meet again at a party. You know, they always throwing parties at, at these uh, in, at these aristocratic houses. Back in them days, they always threw parties. That's how you meet people. You go to these different parties, and at the party, you know, it's a state. It, the party be for a whole week, so you you stay at these people's houses for a whole week. So that's how they meet again, um, and things happen from there. Uh, because, but he don't want to get involved with her because he has some kind of uh, I guess you can say P, 
uh, he was in the Civil War and he is, I forgot what they call it, when you just have flashbacks or stuff like that. And he don't want to get involved or anything, but that he ends up getting involved because he want her to. So, and it just go from there and it, some conflict with her mother because her mother is a pain and you know what, she, she going to be messing up stuff because she don't want her daughter to marry an American. She want her daughter to marry a Duke. And that's where their conflict come in at and something else going to happen. But that's all I'm going to tell you. So this is book number two. I enjoyed it. I gave this uh, three and a half stars. Um, a high three and a half stars. Like I said, when I give books a three and a half stars, it don't mean that I didn't like it. I, I did like it. I enjoyed it. But it just, it didn't have that mm factor where it pushed it on over the edge where I, I would want to read this story again. No, I don't want to read it again. And this is Heart Temptation, book number two. And then I also read, uh, this is an, in another series of hers. This is Fearless Duke. And this is book number six in the League of Dukes. Uh, series by Scarlett Scott and this was on and here's the book cover there is this is on Isabel Hellgrove and Benedict Manning and he she's a typist and she's been trying to figure out why he's been um, I think she had three typists to go work for him because he worked for the government he's like a uh, He's over like some kind of government thing where they're trying to find out. It's been a lot of bombing and stuff in England. And they're trying to find out who's doing this. It, you could say he, but a, I don't know if you would call him a spy ring or something. But they're trying to find out who's doing this. And he has a lot of paperwork and stuff. So he hired these typists. And they're not working out for him. And he be <laughs> yelling at them. And they quit and crying and upset. So she come there to find out what the heck is going on. Why why are all these women quitting? And she ends up working for him. And they end up being attracted to each other. And it goes from there. Um, the problem is that she don't feel like she's, you know, good enough to be married. You know, she don't want to be his mistress. And she's not good enough to marry him. So that that's going to be their little disagreement. And I, it was a favorite scene in here that I liked. Cause he goes to visit her and she and she come in and she's not there right then but then she finally comes and she was like what are, what are you doing here you like i want to talk to you and then she turned around and leave out talking about i'm not at home <laughs> that was funny to me i, I kind of cracked him because he take off after her and she tried to run upstairs to her room and close her door because she's this after they done had a little interlude because she tell him she don't she she thinks she, he's there to ask her to be his mistress and she was like look I ain't trying to be nobody mistress uh, no thank you but I enjoyed it uh, I gave it three and a half stars um, like I said I read all these books all the way through I didn't have any problem with finishing the book uh, she's a good writer but this one just didn't have anything except for that little scene right there it wasn't anything else in there that made me want to go back and read this book and this is Fearless Duke. And this is in the League of Dukes uh, series, book number six. I also read My Husband, My Stalker by Jessica Kane. Um, I've been, uh, she wrote, she writes little no novellas. Uh, here's the uh, book right here. You can see it. I gave this three stars. I couldn't. Now this right here is over the top. Uh adult situation so if you don't like that uh, Jessica Kane is not for you and these are novellas these are just quick little reads uh who is this on let me see here his name is Evan and the female name is Jolie so in this situation and this is a 75 page novella in this situation he's a hitman he see Jolie on TV because uh she is on the news because she had got um kidnapped by a stalker and she was on the news and he fell in what you say you you fell in lust and you fell in love by watching her on the news and that's how he become her stalker because he um and jolie she gets away from her um the man who kidnapped her without any uh without the man doing anything to her she she um escapes and that's how she's on the news telling about what happened to her and that's how evan sees her and evan is a hit man so he said he's going to change his life for her. So he ends up moving next door to her. Uh, getting all in her life. And next thing you know, they're married. 
and he's still stalking her. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Uh, yeah, I just gave that a three. <laughs> and that's all I have to say on that one. But I got a lot of Jessica Kane over here. These just quick, fast reads. Um, novella, uh, and she's a quick writer too. Uh, she her books come out really, really quick, and uh, right behind each other sometimes. Cause I was like, she got one, another one out already. But I guess so, cause she only writing like little novellas. And then next I have up is Reckless Heart. I read that, and that is book number five in the Heart Temptation. And this one is on, um, let's see here, Heart's Temptation. Uh, this is on Clara Whitney. And now Clara Whitney is Jess Whitney's daughter. Because I didn't mention that in the other one. But since I, mean, I read the book, I'm going to let you know that he does have a daughter. But it's not by his wife. It's, it's about another woman uh, from America that she had passed away. And he had to go to America again. You have... If you read that story, you'll know what happened. But she's is just this is just a daughter by another lady from America who passed away. So she gets her own story. His daughter gets her own story, and she is going with. Uh, she ends up marrying Julian. He's an earl. He's an impoverished earl. He don't have any money, and because he got. Uh, two sisters and a brother. His dad done uh, spent all their money. So like I said, he's impoverished. So he's been sleeping with women trying to get money. Yeah. <laughs> try Sorry, my camera went out. I don't know if I'm going to get through all these books, but I'm going to try to. It might be a part two. But he's been sleeping with women to get money. So that's how um, Claire find out about him because Claire... She's always telling her dad that she want to go back to America. She want to go back to Virginia. But he says no. So the only way she sees she can get out of that is to marry. Is a marriage of convenience. So once she marries, she can do what she wants to. She want to have an agreement with Julian. And she know he needs money. Because she done heard about him through the rumor mill. That he needs money. So she goes to him and say... I'll marry you. I give you this much money, and once I'm married, once we're married, I get to go back to Virginia, and we'll, you know, dissolve the marriage or whatever. But you know that don't happen because they end up falling in love with each other. Um, I didn't like this as much as I like the other books, but I still gave it a three and a half stars. I didn't put it down. I, I read it all the way through, and uh, it's gonna be some books on his sister because, like I said, he got two sisters, and him and his brother didn't get along because his brother said that he think that his dad was not his father so he and he think he should be the earl so it's some contention going on there uh if you want to read that it got a little uh mystery up in there uh, and that's reckless rape heart's temptation book number five and then this book is on one of his sisters i didn't read the other book about his sister uh, but i read did read this i did read this one and i enjoyed it this is book number two in the notorious ladies of london and this is Lady Wallflower, and this is on, her name is Joe, and the guy's name is Elijah Decker. And in these books, it's a lot, the women are all, like, involved in uh, the suffragette, you know, trying to get women women's rights. Most of these women are involved in all, in that situation, or trying to, uh, you know, working towards getting uh, women to vote. So in this one, she uh, is going to allow you. He owns a newspaper. He owns quite a few businesses. And I think he owns a gambling hall, too. So she goes to him with her. She wrote an article. Um, and she's trying to get the article published. They've been publishing in his newspaper these articles that she has. So she take an article there. And she's a wallflower. So she then wrote down. I forgot how many. She wrote on some paper some things that she could do to be wicked. And it in, he ends up finding it in there with her um, article that she wants that she wants to get published, and he ends up finding her uh, list of being wicked. And so he was like, I, "Yeah, I can help you with that <laughs> if that's what you want." So they end up sneaking around together, and then something happened, and yeah, it goes from there. But I really, really enjoyed it. I said I'm going to purchase this one. I gave this one uh, four stars. I really, really enjoyed this. And I will be purchasing this one. And this is Lady Wallflower, the no Notorious Ladies of London, book two. And she is this guy's sister. This guy right here. And then the last book I read. Uh, hold on. Let me get back over here. 
by Charlotte Scott. Well, not the last book. I think it's two more books that I read by her. This is Reckless Need and this is Heart Temptation book. This is book number three in the Heart Temptation uh, series. And this one is about, uh, this is on Tia and the Duke of Devonshire. I, his name is, what was his name? Okay. I liked his name too. Let's see. What, I'm just going to click this here and go over here and find out what his name is. Uh, what was his name? Was it Heath? Uh, let's see here. What was his name? Yep, his name is Heath. I liked his name. His name is Heath. And I like this cover too. And I will be buying this one too. I really, really enjoyed this one. And like I said, this is on Heath and... um, What did I say her name was? Tia. And they meet... Because she thinks he's a... But they met before. But, you know, they never really talked to it. Talk to each other before or not. You know, they just met each other in you know social circles, and uh, she always thought he was dull and stuff like that. So they are meet at a house party. These how these long house parties where you spend a whole week there, and they meet in a maze because she is supposed to be chaperoning um, Claire Whitney. The book before this that I told you what she was just um, daughter. She's supposed to be chaperoning her. And she, uh, but she can't keep up with her. So she's out in the maze looking for her. And that's when she run into Heath. He's sitting in the, um, like in the little maze. I guess they have a little place where you can sit down and he's reading a book. And she asked him, had uh, she he seen uh, a girl go by? And he said, yeah. And they get to talking. And then she leaves, but she falls and hurt herself. So, and he goes to help her. And then, yeah. Once he picks her up and stuff, some tension. <laughs> But they had already had a little tension. So he toasts her back to her room. And, and then he kisses her while they're in the room. And the reason I like this. It, both of them knew what they wanted. She wanted him and he wanted her. And it wasn't no kind of a. I shouldn't do this and I shouldn't do that. No. Both of them knew what they wanted. And, and they went out there and then they get in trouble. So I'm not going to go any further than that. But I really, really enjoyed the story. I highly, highly recommend this one. I give it four stars. And I will be. I think I bought this already. So this should be on the way. I am going to do a. Um, I done bought some, most of the, some of these books. That I'm going to be uh, sharing with you all. and Because I'm going to have a uh, book haul. After this. Or sometime. Uh, let's go to the next book here. Let's go back. Uh... And we got the Virtuous Vast Count. This is in Wicked, the Wicked Husband series by Scarlett Scott. And this is book number six. And this was on, here's the book here. I think this is the last book that I read um, by Scarlett Scott. I was on a roll there for a minute. And this is the her Virtuous Vast Count. And this is on, I can't pronounce her name. I think she got a flower named Hacienda. Hacienda? Yeah, there you go. And Tom. And this is on, she had an unhappy marriage. Her husband dies. And I think they were like living out in the country or something. So she come to, look, you know how it is when you, you're you free? You know how it is when you get out of high school and you going to college and you getting ready to leave home for the first time and you just go bug wild? Yeah. This is her. She just go bug wild because she goes to the city and she throwing all kinds of parties and saying she's going to do, you know, she's just going to do everything that she didn't get to do while she was married because she had an unhappy marriage. And she, so she moves in next door to Tom. He's a vast count. And he's been jilted because he fell in love with a married woman, but he thought the woman was going to get a divorce because he was finna ask her to marry her, but she went back to her husband. Uh, you can find that book too in here, but I didn't read that one. And so he's uh, all upset, and but he meets her next door when her little dog get caught in the, because uh, he can't sleep for her. She's having a party next door, so he get up and he goes outside and he hears this dog whimpering over something. He's like, what is this? And he finds this little dog in the bushes that the guy hung up in the bushes there. And she comes out looking for her dog. And that's how they meet. They end up talking. They Find out they got a little chemistry together. And before you know it, yeah. Because she said she don't want to be his mistress either. But she ends up. Yeah, they end up having a little tater-tater together. And 
some of it happened, but I I liked it, but it, it wasn't I didn't enjoy it that much. I gave it three and a half stars. Uh, it was a good story. I didn't put it down. I wanted to know what was happening, but it didn't have those special moments for me. So I just gave this three and a half stars. And this is her uh, Virtuous Vast Count by Scarlett Scott. And it's book number, what is it? Book number, what did I say it was? I don't even remember now. Let me go back and see. Book number six in the Wicked Husband series. Uh, I think that's all my Scarlett uh, Scott books that I read. Yeah, you see I was on a roll there. Then next, I got another book by uh, Jessica Kane. This is Husky. She's doing like a series on big men. And this was okay. I gave this three and a half star. This is on uh, uh, Dawes. His name is Dawes. And her name is Parker. She is a, the female is a, um, she uh, design clothes and she's trying to do a, uh, She's trying to get her clothes out there. She's trying to do a, what do you call it? A dog. I can't even think of the name. When you have models modeling for you, she finna have a, I can't even think. My mind just be totally blank. But she, and she says she done, she can't come up. She want to have a, I think it's going to be a men's and women uh, clothing line. And she can't, um, Says so she hasn't been expired for the men's line. So she's upset about that. So she take a walk and she ends up in this bar. And that's where she meets Dawes because he owned this bar. And insta love, insta lust, of course. And she asked him, does he want to uh, model for her? And he was like, what, me? Because, you know, he's a big husky guy. And she's like, yeah, you know, I, you were inspiring me. So he goes back with her and she designed him some clothes. And it goes from there and, you know, like I said, insta lust, insta love. So if you don't like that kind of stuff, and this, how many pages was in? This was 61 pages. I gave it, um, I gave it three and a half stars. It was okay. It was okay. Then I read The Fighter Prize by Jessica Kane. Uh, this is going to be a two book. I don't know if it, it's not in a series, but her sister's going to have a book too. I, I'll tell you about that book later because. <laughs> But I enjoyed this one. I gave this three and a half stars. Uh, this is on um, Maximum. He's a Russian MMA fighter. And her name is Scout. And she goes to him and asks him. Um, says she will go with him or sleep with him. If he will be the guy that he's supposed to make sure that the guy that uh, he's fighting get beat down. Because her dad has sold her to this other guy which she do not like. He been out to her for a long time, even ever since she was a kid, and her father done messed up and got involved with him some kind of way and lost money to him or owe him money, and he sold her. Say so he's he gonna sell her uh, to this guy, and she was like, I don't think so. So she go to the other guy and tell him she'll go with him if he'll beat this guy. So you know, of course he do. Insta love, insta lust. <laughs> but I enjoyed it. I gave it three and a half stars. Uh, it, these two are nothing I want to read again. I just gave them three and a half stars. They were okay. If you like a quick read, and this this book right here, how many pages was this? Let's go see how many pages. And this, if it's in here, it might not be in here. Some of them have how many pages there are. No, I don't think this one have. Uh, it doesn't say how many pages it is. It didn't have it on here. That's why I didn't write it down. But quick read. Uh, quick little snippet novella and I give both of those three and a half stars next I read uh, Riley Thorne and the dead guy next door I think I mentioned before that I like Lucy Scott and this was more like a romantic suspense it was more dealing with the suspense than the romance but it was pretty good this was on Riley Scott uh, Riley Thorne I mean and the male lead his name was uh, what was his name Nick and they meet when Nick comes to the house that she's staying in. Uh, she stay in this mansion with a lot of old people. She's the only young one there because she divorced. She got a divorce from her husband, and some kind of way she had to pay her husband uh, uh, with alimony. And, and I don't know why because his dad the one has the money. But anyway, I didn't understand that part. But she pays him alimony. And that's why she don't have no money. So she's living in this house with. Um, she's renting a room out of this big mansion. Uh, I guess they done took 
took rooms and made apartments out of it. But mo it's like an old folks home because a, a lot of old people there and her. <laughs> but the guy next door gets murdered and she's psychic because she sees, she already knows something going to happen to the guy. Um, and it eventually does. And then um, Nick shows up. And I forgot why Nick came there the first time. I don't think he came there because of this guy the first time. I forgot why he came there. But she meets him at, at this house, at her house. And uh, it goes from there. They they have a little back and forth. And she she's at a job that she don't love. Because she used to work with her husband at this, uh, I think they worked at a uh, news company or something. Cause, and I think he was cheating on her. And she called him, but... Somehow she ends up paying him money. But her and Nick going to get together. And I think this is going to be a series. A Riley Thorne series. With her and Nick probably solving cases together. I really enjoyed it. I gave it a four star. Uh, next up. I also mentioned that I like Hollow Ray. And I wanted to read some more books by her. So I read Gent. And I saw that it was an Enemies to Lovers uh, novel. So I was like okay. I'm all in. So I read the first one. I didn't enjoy this one too much. I think I gave this a three. And this was on um, Raven Elliot and Trey. I kind of felt like this was, even though they were grown, I kind of felt like they were acting like, teen, I don't know, teenagers. I kept feeling like they were teenagers for some reason. Especially him. I don't know. But it all started when she comes into town to work at her friend's coffee shop. She's going to be doing the baking there. And, um, what's his name? Trey, he works at a, um, he works on cars. Uh, he, he works with his uncle. His un uncle owns a car shop and he works on cars there. And he's kind of bitter because his parents got killed and he was like, he don't want to, um, love anybody anymore because it hurt too bad when people, you know, leave you or whatever. So he just, he's just a bitter guy. <laughs> he, yeah, he's, he's a grump. And um, they first meet at a, uh, when um, Raven and her friend go out, they meet him at a bar. And yeah, he's all grumpy and stuff. But they have like an attraction together. So anyway, they're going to end up together. And it's all going to be about him fighting, you know, because at first they just said we're going to be friends with benefits. But you know how that goes. And she started catching feelings. And he, he does too, but he's just trying to fight it. And let's just say it goes from there him trying to uh figure out what he needs to do to get it together but i just gave it three stars it didn't do it for me and then next i had loner this is another one this these two books kind of got the same scenario but with different characters because in this one um what is his name this was on crawford docks and keegan her name is keegan i mean and both of these are uh set in small town so small town romances and enemies to love a romance. Keegan is going to come into town to work with her friend. They're going to start a business together. And Keegan has a little girl. And she's going to meet uh, Crawford. He's another one. A grumpy hero. Sorry about that. My camera went out again. Um, this uh, I'm going to do king size. And that will be the last one I do. It's going to be a part two to this. Uh, loner is like I said. Keegan Crawford. He's also a loner. He would like being by himself. He don't want to be bothered. And he meets uh, Keegan and her little girl on the road when they have a flat tire. And he stops and help. And he owns his own uh, car. Well, it's not a car shop. He owns a motorcycle shop. And he works. He works on a motorcycle. And he meet her. Um, he helped her with her tire and he's all grumpy then because he he's one of them guys who don't have too much to say one answer a, a question with one word. <laughs> So they have a little run in and then they meet again at a club and he has some attraction to her. So he just come up to her in the club. They ain't even had no talk or nothing. He just come up behind her in the club like, you know, you're mine or whatever. And and she done had a couple of shots. So she just turned around him and they get to talking. And then she asked me, we going to do this? Because like I said, they don't have some attract. They attracted each other because they meet again before they meet at the club. But I forgot where it was. And they they are attracted to each other. And it, they have a one night stand. It don't go well in the morning and it's back to <laughs> how it was before. They just have a lot of run ins, but I really, really enjoyed this one. I'll probably buy I'm gonna buy this one. I gave this one four stars. And I really enjoyed it. Then we got King Size here. Another just came yeah. 
I gave this three stars. This is set in medieval time. And this is on uh, Rex. And her name is Britta. Uh, Rex used to be a uh, blacksmith. And he saw, and this is a, she's a princess. He saw her in a, uh, I guess when they were coming in a parade or whatever. And he insta love, insta lust. <laughs> So he goes and get him a job at the uh, castle as a uh, guard protecting, you know, the king and queen and the princess. Yeah, he's just going to go there and get him a job. And her family ends up getting killed. Now she's the queen. And yeah, and now he's uh, protecting the queen. And it goes from there. Insta love, insta love. <laughs> But I just gave it a three. It, it wasn't for me. It, it, yeah, I gave it a three. And then I stop at this one, Untouchable. And this is on. This is by Sam Moreno. Uh, this is on Carter Mahoney and Zoe. This book right here. This is a dog romance. So if you don't like reading dog romance, because this one right here, it got a lot of trigger warnings in it. I'm telling you now. <laughs> I was like, I had a hate love relationship, hate love relationship with this book. Carter Mahoney, Mahoney, oh my God, he had no redeeming qualities even at the end. I was like, except for I, I don't, I don't want to spoil the book for you. Just one redeeming quality, but I ain't gonna get into that. He, this is Zoe. It's a high school romance. Then there's another trigger. It's a high school romance with some. Adult content going on in here. Yes, they are. All, they're in the twelfth grade, and at least you do meet the family. Cause in some of these books, YA books, you don't even meet the family. It's like where are the parents at? Who who is in charge of these kids? Anyway, Zoe, uh, have a run in with a football player, and she tell it on him on this football player. That he was doing some inappropriate stuff, I guess, to her. And he get kicked off the football team. So, I guess, Carter Mahoney and the guy who get kicked off the football team and another guy, I guess they're going to teach her a lesson because they hem her up in a classroom. And it was rough. <laughs> like, let's just say he do some stuff that he don't need to, that she should have had him arrested. <laughs> but... Since he said, you know, ain't nobody, this is a football town. They live in a small town, I guess, and it's a football town. And his dad is rich, so you know how that works. So she's like, ain't no use of telling on him because ain't nothing going to get done. And it all going to be on her because that's how they treated her when she turned in this guy. The whole school turned against her, leaving uh, nasty letters in her locker and stuff like that. Oh, my God. It's just, school can be terrible sometimes. But anyway, what's so bad about this? After she finally get out of the class, that classroom, it they don't um they don't do go all the way or anything, but that uh something happened that shouldn't happen in that in the uh, classroom. But once she get out of there, she missed two days of school, and then this Joker Carter Mahoney, I guess he started having feeling for her or something. I don't know. He shows up at her house, bringing her some soup. He is a <laughs> like what in the world is going on here? So, I gave this book three and a half stars, but then for this cover, look at this cover. Oh, my goodness. I gave it an extra point. So, I gave it four stars because I had a love-hate relationship with, with this book because I wanted her. She was, and then she fought for this guy. And I was like, if you're going to fall for a maniac, <laughs> I, she was tough because I wouldn't have been able to handle none of this stuff that he was putting her through. I would I wanted sometimes I just want her to slap the you know what out of him because he was working my nerves sometimes I was like can you just uh, she dealt with him in her own way but I was like some of this stuff you need to just let him have it anyway uh, that's that's all I got to say on that one so I was like if you read this it's a dark romance with some very early early in the in the book trigger warnings going on so read at your own risk <laughs> so that i'm gonna stop right here i'm gonna have a part two because i i got some more books that i need to get through but that's all i got for now those are the books that i read for um 
August and September. Let's see here. I read this in September. I read uh, Untouchable in September. I read King Size in September. I read uh, Lone, Loner and Loner and uh, Gent in September. I think all of these books, uh, Riley Thorn in September. I, I think all the books that I mentioned on here, all of those were read in September. So I need to get through my August uh, books. So all of those I read through in, in September. I think I'm going to buy, uh, I think about three of them that I'm going to purchase that I really want to keep and read again. I think it was three of them. But that's all I have for now. I hope I described it enough to let whether, whether you can decide whether you want to read any of these or not. Yeah, I hope so. Because I'm not good at describing books. But I just do the best I can. <laughs> but that's all I got for now. I'll come back with a part two. And hopefully I can get to the books I read in August. But those are some of the ones I read in September. Um, hopefully you can find some good ones out of there that I mentioned. All right, that's all I have for now. Until next time, keep reading those romances and I'll see you all on part two of my wrap up. Bye-bye.